What's up everyone and welcome to Call of Cthulhu the video game. Now this was just released today or maybe yesterday by the time you see this and I've been excited for this for a while. I even played a really old Call of Cthulhu game for the original Xbox a couple months ago I believe. So I am ready to play this one. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, has a nice little start. It's tell me how to move. <laughs> okay, so I've never been a real big fan of like sea based things like dealing with sharks or anything like that, but I am a horror fan and I did like the last Call of Cthulhu game, so it all evens out. <laughs> Let's see, uh, where are we? I mean, obviously, everything's wet. What are those? What is that? Like half a shark? Very nice, very cool. So, so far, this game looks pretty good. Now, I mean, I'm not really sure about the gameplay. Everything seems to be running pretty smooth, though. But as far as graphics, though, everything looks pretty nice. And I am playing this on the PC, and I do believe it came out for the PS4 and the Xbox, too. But, of course, I'm playing on the, P uh, the PC. So, we can crouch. Nice. What else do we have? Can we go over here? Probably not. Okay, uh, what do we do? Yeah, we can't go through there, obviously. I mean, I, I, I sort of guessed that we couldn't. So we're just trying to find our way in the dark. Counter darkness. You must light up some items in order to interact with them. So how do we light? Not really sure how to light things up, but it does look like there's a lantern here. When an object can be picked up, press A. Oh. So what do we have over here? So unless we see it, we can't grab it. What are those uh, bolt cutters? Yeah, it is a bolt cutter. I was right. Finally, I was right about something. So I think we need to go back and cut the chain. It doesn't look like we're going anywhere, even though we do have a boat. We have plenty of places to go now. Is there anything back here? Nothing. So let's cut the, let's use these bolt cutters. Let's cut the chain. Simple. Look how easy that was. Is that it? Just a little rhyme, a little rhyme for us. Is there anything past this? I think that's where I just was. I think that's where I started off at. So what's over here? Nothing. Oh man, is that a well? Is that a killer well? That looks sick. That is pretty sick. Uh oh, there's something in the water. It's a pretty nice looking well though. <laughs> All right, let's keep on moving forward. Not really seeing anything. You have been chosen. You have been chosen. Don't fight. So you can hold down left trigger to run. Ah, uh, that makes things a lot better. I wonder if we got any stamina. Because if we don't, I don't see any reason just to walk around everywhere. Behold. Everything has already been written. You will attempt to change your destiny. I 
I don't know. I like whiskey. I like that music too. Hopefully it's not copyrighted. Let's just uh look around. A married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. The husband never understood that his life that his wife had left him. He kept on calling me weeks after the investigation had been closed. And we can Okay, we can rotate it. Nice. Let's close that. It's over here. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. The bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed the case, but when you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. Not a lot you could do, boy. Yeah, I'm not expecting any secrets to be hidden behind these books. I mean, these are his files. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Yeah. Been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. <laughs> He's just a regular emo person. It's been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. So the case, we got Pierce, Darkwater, Clues, and Inventory. Pierce Investigation Agency. The doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need to remedy to keep my memories at bay. But I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? What's this? I can have a drink or don't drink. Ah, we got choices. Awesome. Let's have a drink. This will affect your destiny. Oops. I guess I shouldn't have drunk that. <laughs> One drink and my destiny has been ruined. Welcome to the real world. It only takes one drink. Never, never drink, kids. I so wonder that. why I still take these things. <laughs> yeah, why would you take those when you could just drink whiskey? The doctors prescribed them when I returned from the war. They swore that they would put an end to my nightmares, but for a while now, their effect has been wearing off. Just drink the whiskey, dude. All you need is the whiskey. Hey, we got some sleeping pills. Uh, okay. I used to be an avid reader. I used to read. Not anymore. We play video games. Top -notch cases. Nice. I really like his voice. Sounds like they're using a good microphone for his voice. Bear the mind. Is that it? Is that all we have to discover? Copyright music, everybody. I have business here to attend to. I have business here. Well, I'm not seeing any business. Let's see, uh, I'm going to turn that off. Game saved. Okay. Oh, maybe this I is my business. This stuff. Nope. Guess to answer the phone is my business. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. <laughs> okay. So, need before the next level. Strength represents your ability to call on your physical power. Okay, we got 8 CP available. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I think I should just bounce them all out. Think it'd be think it'd be good to have a balanced profile. So we'll do one for this, 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 one for this. Oh, and we have one extra one. Let's bring up my occultism. Do you really want to validate this character points attribution? Well, when you put it like that, I'm not really sure. I feel like my destiny. What's wrong? Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, do you still... I'm coming.
Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes. Please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Okay. Examine the painting. Examine the Hawkins file. I don't think that's madness. I think it's a pretty cool painting. What do you guys think? Its strange beauty isn't enough to hide the feeling of dread it carries. Painting by Sarah Hawking. And we got this. A warehouse on Darkware. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. Rather thin. A shipping label. Some of it is unreadable, but I can make out part of the address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater. Maybe if you move some of that stuff out of the way, you'd be able to read a little bit better. The police report, it says <laughs> that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decide on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental Frailty? Why? A press cutting. An article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live a recluse life there with their only son, Simon. Oh, wow. It's all glued together, huh? And nothing on the back. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? You're asking the wrong guy. I read about her mental fragility. It's mental frailty in the police report. Something's not right with this story? Where did Sarah Hawkins live? Find out about Warehouse 36. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Find out about Warehouse 36 again. Where does Sarah live? That's all the information I need. Something's not right with this story. Uh, Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Indeed. I've already chose all this. I've already chose the uh, mental fragility. I mean, I didn't choose it, but I mean, he covered that in the last thing. Dark water. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Dark water holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. I already chose that one. I'm just going to say it's all the info. Well, no, nah, I'm going to go with this. If what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. 
Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Don't worry, she is completely fine. She only sees things, she only hears things, the voices, everybody hears them. It's, it's no big deal. I, I believe that's all the information I need. I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from dark water right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Something's queer here. Something's very weird. So can we leave now? Is that it? Was that book there before? The Learning of Medicine. A dense work aimed at interns and young practitioners. This first volume lists all illnesses known in the civilized world. It details the symptoms and suitable treatment. Okay. We are now doctors. So we can consult our diary. We have a diary. What kind of man is this? So it's like a detective horror story. This is actually pretty cool. I'm glad it gives us choices and stuff. Hopefully these choices matter. Let's get it out of here. I don't know where the diary is. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Uh, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. 
and his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great pain to the blood of tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Okay. Let's let's go into the bar then. See if we pick up some ladies. Talk to Fitzroy. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. Hey, you're not serving me. <laughs> it's it's him. The guy didn't show respect. You're ever doing it. I'm sorry. It wasn't me who went looking for it. I'm just going to apologize. I'm trying to be a nice guy. I behaved like a hun. And I sincerely apologize. Veteran, huh? 307th Infantry Regiment. Oh. Well, that'll be okay for now. But the war is over. I'm try not to forget it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. He's got the shakes. <laughs> no, no prohibition around here. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Order a drink. Let's order a drink. And then ask the hard questions. Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. You want a drink? I wouldn't say no to a glass. Try this. What's he giving me? You didn't even look to see what it was. Don't drink anything from a strange we'll place. Mmm, well. <laughs> I think we'll get along well. Wow. Instant seriousness. Uh, dark water. Find out. Stranded whale? The stranded yeah, let's whale. ask about that. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dark water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. Okay, Sarah Hawkins. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. It's true that they were strange. It's not speaking ill if it's true. Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. I've got what hey, I need. enough about that. Anything else? Uh, oh man. Can't ask about Warehouse 36 now? That sucks. 
Oh, there we go. Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? I believe that's it. I'm starting to feel like uh, all these choices don't really have any value. That'll I guess we'll find out. I feel like we can just keep on asking the questions that we didn't get to ask. Sort of wish it was more uh, concrete than that. Like, oh, well, if you choose this question, then you can't ask this one. I guess we'll find out how the game goes. Let's talk to this lady smoking her fancy, fancy cigarette. Or what is that? Is that a left-handed cigarette girl? What, what you, you looking at, stranger? She can s certainly put them away. Nothing, nothing at all. What is a woman like you doing in a place like this? The clientele is predominantly male. Tell me something I don't know. I meant nothing by it. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. And I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Let me drink, stranger. Oh, was that it? What if I talk it. to her again? Hey, just as I was... What's that guy looking at? You got something? You got something to say to me, pal? What about you? I think I'll just take a look at you. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> So it looks like the choices are a little more concrete, just as I was uh, sort of complaining that I didn't feel like they were. So talk to Fitzroy, which is, I guess, this dude. Nope, it's not that dude. we got to find Fitzroy. Wow, he's looking. I wonder if this is Fitzroy. Look at him. Nice. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations. Gifted with its own consciousness until it finds a new reader. Yes, yes. So that's uh, not Fitzroy. You have no right to treat us like this. And the doctor, what did he say? He laughed. My God. You said it. Oh, give me that eye. You guys not going to wonder what I'm just sitting? I'm going to give you a little back rub. Like that? Let me get down here. Let me give you a little more massage. <laughs> the miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. The shanty, uh, 21st May, 1847. Miraculous catch. The Sila returns to port to save dark water from famine. We had given up hope. The crew of the Sila, or what remains of it, returned to Darkwater Port late on Tuesday afternoon. The locals immediately rushed to the docks to welcome the last whaling ship on the island. People were amazed at the sight of the unbelievable catch the brave vessel had on board of a size that went beyond that of a formidable tooth whale. The Catassian... Catation? Whatever. That is uh, blah, 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 blah. Warehouse for rent. Mr. Marks is putting his warehouse up for rent from... June for fishing workshop or storage activities. You can contact him via blah 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 and stranded well. Yep, blah 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 blah. Hopefully, none of that was important. If it was important, they shouldn't have made it so long. <laughs> Do you like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. Okay, the end of whaling. What is this? I've never this heard song? this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. I saw the newspaper clipping. You don't believe it, do you? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah, where's the proof? We're the proof. Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. 
Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. The end what of Whaling. What brought Whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last. The biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. Exactly. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. Good night. Stranger. <laughs> no, I didn't want to talk to you again. That's true. Shut up. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. Good night, stranger. <laughs> Alright, uh what was this? The miraculous I didn't read any of it. Not there on the back of it. Let's see. The locals immediately rushed to the docks, swapping the last well, brave vessel. Of a size went beyond that of the formidable tooth wells. Uh, parts of it were hanging over the side of the ship, so it was a whole, like a huge well, I guess. Surviving sailors told a frightening account of their perilous catch, but also of its meat, unmatched in its quality and plentiful and nutritious benefits. There is no doubt that the immense size of this well will allow numerous inhabitants of dark water to feed themselves, bringing an end to the family. Okay, okay. So they were suffering, and the well, or whatever it was, gave them sustenance. All right, I'm not saying anything, so I guess it's time to leave. I think Fitzroy is that dude that we was talking to at the beginning. Probably is. Probably an idiot. So what's over here? There's nothing to sort out. Your chum wanted to stir us up. There's nothing for you here <laughs> either. But you can stay to watch if you want. You can pick up the pieces. Stick your noses around here again. Yeah, they're not gonna fight. They're just gonna talk. They're going. They're just going to talk that. I'll talk and nothing else. What's this? Let the police do their work. Hey Sullivan, can't you go any faster? Have you seen how old? The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters! You're crazy. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. Hmm. Sales get upset over nothing. You're totally out of your depth. Ask about Warehouse 36. They seem to be very agitated about a dead animal. <laughs> You're telling me. These fools think that putting the whale back in the water will bring about the end of the world. <laughs> They're superstitious. If only you knew. They only listen to Captain Fitzroy. And not always. And you, what brings you to our island? I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. <laughs> I like you, so I'll be frank with you. Don't go near the place. Don't try to get in. Why? Because I told you so. Learn to accept some friendly advice. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. <laughs> you shysters. Everyone looks like they have some kind of issues here. They probably do. Maybe I'm the one with the issues. I took that one drink and now my life is ruined at the very beginning. Is Fitzroy up here? Or is he around here? Nope. Can we go in through the store, though? Yep. And Fitzroy's right there. What's I up, brought dude? out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. But that's all I'll get from them. Only a few dates are still legible. 1890, 1907, and a partial date. The rest of the document is blacked out. Who would want this information to be hidden? And why? Is there anything behind it? And we're just going to pick up this entire stack of papers and just turn it around. Is there anything else in here? It's got a leaky roof. It's not good. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. The terms of our agreement are clear. Keep your men under control. You cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier. I wonder what, uh, I wonder what Captain would say about you just going through his stuff while he's outside. Let's find out. Maybe I can keep going through his stuff. 
It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. I guess this blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than 70 years. Is this supposed to be like modern times or something? A blackboard. Such a long Fishing time ago. Equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. I think that just takes us outside. Maybe. Maybe not. Hey, volume two. The second volume teaches you ethics and good practice to medical staff. We're just going to take that book. It's all mine now. Fitzroy. It's all about exploring, guys. We are detectives. All right. And we're here to do detective work. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. Captain Fitzroy is posing on the bridge of a ship. He has a wooden leg. But does he now? I had to go check that out. What a macabre souvenir. Let's go down and talk to Fitzroy. He's outside waiting. He'd be waiting on us. I'm not seeing anything else. Hey. I'm not seeing a wooden leg. Oh yeah, maybe this is twin. From here, right. I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard working lives of my sailors. The fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these war friends don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. Your documents are unreadable. Ask him about Warehouse 36. Talk about dark water. Unlocked answer. Unlocked answer. What does that mean? Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? Okay, so because we went snooping around his stuff, he doesn't seem to care and we have more questions we can ask. Thought the fishing stopped in 1847. What did Charles Hawkins really do for a living? And you tell I'm me. I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. I see that you're interested in the history of our island. Indeed, maritime activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins family had other types of contracts. But you don't know with whom? No. It was none of my business. Ask him, okay. Ask him I'm about warehouse, for warehouse 36. 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? It belonged to the Hawkins family. You underestimate me. I have no idea. Is this a game for you? It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. <laughs> Where is this warehouse again? Dude, it's over there. What if I ask him again? Can you tell me where the warehouse is again? Look, I've already shown it to you. It's the one with the cop on guard duty out front. You can't miss it. Understood. Where is this warehouse again? <laughs> nah, I think we're going to leave. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Yeah. Sure thing there, dude. Consult diary. I can look at my diary later. I'm not too worried about reading my diary. Hey, these men are coming back. Looks like they're all friends now. Glad you got everything settled, I think. Is there anybody missing? Maybe. I don't know. Okay. What's this dude? You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. I didn't see anything. You're not scared of their boss? What are bootleggers doing around I've here? I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, knows around too much, you'll have dealings with her. This warehouse looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory. 
But I ain't asking. You want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. So I, I can go ask the captain. I'm not worried about asking him right now. I don't want to walk back. You kidding me? I like that car. Let's see. The spot hidden skill allows you to detect hidden items in a close range. One saw, yep, it all disappeared. Looks like we can get inside. Gee, I wonder how we get inside. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. All right. But how do we get in there? Oh, I got a lighter. How do I close it? Can I burn this rope? Is it even a rope? Nope. A whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. This bone is a real fossil. I wonder how long that lighter lasts. Hey, a ladder. We're figuring it out. We're figuring this out, guys. I could use this old winch to lift the grating. But it's been completely taken to bits. There must be some spare parts amid all this clutter. Hmm. Any spare parts? Can you can you lend a boy some spare parts? What about this? Can I jump over? No, I can't jump over this. So what? Do we go back down? All right. Spare parts. Anything? Gain parts to hey. Oh, this lever activates a mechanism. I wonder what it this could go to. Will be perfect for the winch. Oh yeah, it goes for the winch. <laughs> Sorry, playing. I'm playing clueless here. Okay, mount the handle or leave. I think I'll just mount the handle. So I only have one option, and that ah, uh, and that's to leave. Maybe I need some more parts. Maybe that's what the problem is. I just need some more parts. See if we can find any. Hey. Could it be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. And do we have anything else? So we don't have to come back down. Aha. Uh, -huh. uh enables heavy loads to be lifted and held aloft without a ratchet risk. device. Exactly what I need. A ratchet device. Exactly what I need. This device is ratchet. So I, maybe we have all the parts we need now. I don't know. Mount the cogwheel and mount the ratchet device. Turn the handle. Looks like everything is in its place. All I have to do is turn this handle. All I have to do is turn this handle. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know if I want to go down there. That doesn't, <laughs> doesn't look very inviting. But, I mean, the guy says he's going to give me a lot of money. Or he says I'll get paid... What do you say? I'd be compensated. I forgot exactly what he said. I'm not paying attention. I'm a, I'm a detective. I should know all these things. <coughs> yeah, yeah. <coughs> you chose to come down here. Green gas everywhere. Were you an idiot? Can I pick up this? Nope. Hey, got some <coughs> medicine. Smoke. It's coming from this oil. I hope it's not toxic. <laughs> Let's hope not. It's probably not. It's probably nothing wrong with the smoke. Can I pick up? I can't pick up the lantern. What if I crouch? Nope. I think I'd rather use the lantern. Can I light that oil on fire? So what's this way? Should I go this way? I'm not sure which way to go. Well. We can't go this way, so I guess we'll just go in the water with our lighter. <laughs> oh no. I thought for sure he's going to take it underwater with him, but nah. I, I don't know how to remove the light now. Now that I have it, I have no idea how to remove it. What's that? Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no.
The jump scare got me. <laughs> I'll just say that. The jump scare actually got me. But I'm hoping there's more than just jump scares. I'm actually liking this game so far. As many jokes as I've made, I'm actually liking this game. Let's see. Let's go to the end. wonder if there's going to be any more jump scares. This is primitive. So that's all. You, that's all you gotta say. This is primitive. Looks like a uh, caveman. Is that it? Nice. And we only have one way to go, and that's up. And I don't think we can climb over. Nah, doesn't look like it. At least not right now. It hasn't told me how to climb over anything yet. Ugh, but we can crouch. This place stinks. Why does this place stink? Gotta what figure is the this out. the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? They both stink. That's what it is. This smells like fish. She smells like fish. Hey, we can jump. To enter a reconstruction scene. What am I looking at? So we can reconstruct. What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? That's pretty cool. Sort of like, um, so one game, Detroit. Yeah, Detroit Become Human. Except for we're not androids. We're just detectives. I think he was a de detective too. Is this too. one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Ooh, this is looking pretty nice. I don't want to leave. Le Petit Parisien. Who might keep a news clipping about Sarah Hawkins? Can't sleep. I know <laughs> how that feels. I know how that feels. It smells gross. as bad as it looks. It smells as bad as it looks. That's what they have in common. Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this you know sometimes you you need some painkillers <laughs> sometimes it just gets bad enough it doesn't matter how you live it doesn't matter how much your rent is what happened here yeah uh, he was angry or she was angry i can't really can't really tell but it looks like it might be a might be a he let me just check real quick. I don't know. I can't see. <laughs> I think we can leave now. Did I search everything? I don't know if I did or not. Well, I can't go back into the reconstruction scene, so I guess I did search everything. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You! Don't move! You again. I told you to stay away from this warehouse. Threaten. Let's team up. Someone else is interested in Hawkins. This car is being... is far from being wound up. Hold to test psychology. It's clear that you knew the victims. I'm sorry to dig up bad memories. I can still see the poor child lying burned on the floor of their drawing room. We had to tear him off. The marks must still be there. They're in my mind anyway. It's horrendous. I'm going to need your experience to bring him justice, Officer Bradley. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene. Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car's parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. 
This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage, or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why, you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. Well, here we are, Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. All right. <laughs> this place is falling into ruin. The spot hidden, professional. You know the place very well. Let's not waste any time. Anything I should be wary of? Why is the caretaker still here? He's clearly not doing any gardening. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? I Anything I should be, be wary prepared of. If there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go, right? You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? I guess I could ask him the last thing. I don't believe thing. the fire is the only reason this house is in such a state. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha! Huh. You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. This is really trying to get rid of me. And, yeah, we have nothing Night else. falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. And I think this is a good place to end this episode. So far, I'm liking it. It's been pretty good so far. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that bell so you actually get notified when I upload. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.